Ooh. Hello, hello. Today is Friday, September 1st. <laughs> I was about to get my month wrong, but anywho. I've been in bed all day because on Fridays I like to rest. I don't like to do a lot, like go places and stuff like that. I like to get everything done that I like to do Monday through Thursday. And on Fridays I rest, I stay home in bed because tomorrow I go back to work. Because as y'all know, I work on the weekends. My camera was shaking when I did this. Oops. I work on the weekends. I work Saturday and Sundays. So I'm going to pick up the camera tomorrow and do like uh, come to work with me. Yeah, but vlogging is going to be limited because for privacy and HIPAA laws and stuff like that, I can't be really filming where I work at so you can't see where I work at and plus for my own safety and stuff because I do not want nobody showing up to my job okay so oh get a smack but anywho I am just kicked back watching Gina unfilter shout out to her I'll be enjoying her vlog yes girl if you see this video here on YouTube Yes, I enjoy your vlogs. I watch your vlogs. And you be talking about you working on payroll. And I need to look into that, like, the type of work that you do, talking about payroll. And then, oops, excuse me for smacking. And then when you do your shopping hauls and stuff like that, chit-chat, so inspirational. So, yeah, shout out to her. Go check her channel out here on YouTube. It's called Gina Unfiltered. Yeah. And she's based out of, I think, Dallas, Texas or Houston, Texas. Yeah. Anywho. Um, this gave me this little work kick. I think this is my gift. Mm hmm. in the little work kit, a balloon, a pencil, a note paper thingy, a peppermint patty, heart candy, starburst, eraser, paper clip, and a rubber band. You can use those at work. And then a work note. Oh, it has the happy face. I'm going to take this home. Yep, I'm going to use this though, notebook. This kind of reminds me of Wonder Woman or something. It's really cute. The receptionist gave these gifts out to all the CNAs. So if I took the wrong gift, I'm going to be like, girl, it's in my locker. I'll give it back. But yeah, I'm going to take this gift. In her morning. Wifey is going to need some of those and maybe some lotion, socks, some things on handy before starting the shift and I don't have a cart but this will do. Hey, hey, hey. So yeah, I am on my 15 minute breaks. I love to take my 15 minute breaks here at work. So I'm gonna finish up my little 15 minute break in a little while. I just thought I'd check in with y'all. So far it is around, I believe, ooh, 10 a.m. Yeah, and then we're gonna start lunch at 12 a.m. Yes, and I think after I take my little break here, I'm going to start and go do my rounds. I did some charting. I should have showed y'all my charting. I should do some more charting, huh? And vlog for y'all. I'll probably do that, but yeah. Nothing much is going on right now. I'm just on my little 15-minute break. Yep. Yeah.
taking my break looking out the window it was raining this morning lightly though but i brought my umbrella i have my jacket so i'm prepared once i get off work if it rains i'm just sitting here until my break is over <laughs> this little book library this book is called all creatures great and small and then i was also checking out this book right here it says great by choice New York Times bestseller. And then there's another one here. God Grew Tired of Us. And then we have another book here, A Time to Honor. So in that little gift that the receptionist gave me at my job, um, she just gave us a reminder note that it's okay to make mistakes, love your work as a CNA, and also um, use the eraser and pencil that she gave us to erase things if we make a mistake and that's okay so it's also you know good to be reminded that it's okay to make mistakes because guess what none of us are purpose our um purpose none of us are perfect okay if somebody's perfect let me know because i know i'm not perfect okay so there's been plenty of mistakes that i've made in my life okay there's been plenty of tests that i failed and i had to take test a hundred times until I passed it so yeah there's been times when I had to retake tests okay? and then study 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 until I get it you know so I'm glad that the receptionist at my job gave us a little note and a little gift saying hey I care you know just reaching out to all the CNAs you know on board at my job so I'm very grateful okay so if you ever see this video thank you and we're smiling for you maybe i can do a thumbnail huh i deleted my timu account today yes i did it okay i think i bought everything that i need so far and i'm thinking about uploading another shopping app to my phone if I do need to buy something in the future but in the meantime I just want to stick to um, everything that I already have okay so if I need a t-shirt or some heels or something instead of me going to Timu or AliExpress I'll just go to a regular department store and just buy what I need because I just want to break the habit of running to my phone and opening up an app and just going shopping although those things are beautiful and fun and stuff to receive packages in the mail but i just want to take a break there's a lot of things that i stopped doing okay and this ties all down into my slow living okay next thing i stopped doing i stopped running to social media blah 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 look i stopped running to social media to stop letting everyone know what's on my mind or if I'm having one of those days and I'm talking crap about everybody. I just stop doing that because it's too toxic. And I realized that I was filling up my Instagram with a bunch of blah, 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 blah. 
blah, 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 blah. So I deleted a lot of stuff off of my Instagram page. Like, I only talked about certain stuff. Like, just keeping it real. Like, if you get in on my nerves, let me make a post about it. But instead, I'll just keep it to myself because... 20 years ago, I wasn't on social media talking about everything. I was usually talking to friends and family about things that annoyed me, okay? So I'm going to just keep that off of my social media page because it has nothing to do with my Instagram account, okay? How I feel or whatever. And then on top of that, I'm trying to take my Instagram page to a more professional level. So I'm not going to be on there posting about things in my personal life because it has nothing to do with my Instagram account, okay? So I'm more for the soft living, slow living, and that's what you're going to get on my Instagram page. So that's what I started to do. Just stop running to social media, talking about blah, 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 this and that because nobody cares, okay? And that's good and all in a sense. And you have millions of people who are on Instagram and people care about what's going on in their personal life. But there's just some things that I'm not going to talk about anymore on social media. And I'm not going to give you my opinion about how I feel about work today or tomorrow. And then every weekend like on Sunday I make sure that I pay for an Uber to get to work instead of walking to work because on my way to work this morning I was on the city bus and I was just looking at you know the the road you know on my way to work and I was thinking to myself wow I used to do all this walking just to get to work it's really not safe you know although I'm not afraid to walk to work early in the morning but still I'm a lady I really don't need to be outside walking that far okay so I'm always make sure that I have money on my car to take me an uber to work on Sundays okay this is just my my growth okay and I really had to start my growth with not going to social media and just filling my page with just so much, you know, garbage, like too many posts and stuff like that. It was just, it was just too much. And I knew eventually, sooner or later, that I would have to delete a lot of stuff. And I'm glad I've done that, okay? And I haven't been on my Instagram page in like two days, so I'm really, really doing good. Because at first I thought about... um setting my Instagram page to private, but no, it's less posting. So if I post something else, it's going to be something meaning to my soft living and slow living. I need this as a thumbnail. Okay, see y'all later. Morning. I'm currently waiting outside for my uber ride to arrive because your girl's on her way to work today is sunday september the third i was about to say august but we in the month of september so i think i have like three or four minutes for this uber to get here i wish it get here faster i love those days when the uber get here like 10 minutes early that way i'm not standing out here so today, I really don't need to stock up on like supplies. I may come up in here and stock up, you know, as the day goes on. But so far, I'm good. So I don't need to get grab anything out of the supply room. Outside in the backyard of my job, and I'm looking at some sunflowers. I'm gonna have to turn the camera around so y'all can see. But it actually feels really good up out here compared to like the past heat that we've been having because we're in the month of August so summer is leaving but summer kind of want to stay but look at this beautiful I'm trying to be careful with it so y'all don't worry yeah scenery of the flowers and stuff in the backyard at my job.
but for right now I want to go through the library little book section here at my job and just check out some more books that I didn't check out yesterday had got some ice because we have to fill up the ice chest you know when residents ask for ice water and this is the ice scooper here and we got a little drain bucket under there now i'm getting my charging done hey i'm just sitting down for a minute taking a little break Yes, I need to take a break. That's <laughs> now again on the bus leaving the store. Got off of work a while ago. So this bus is gonna drop me near to my house that I check in with y'all. I may pick up the camera when I get home and chat a little bit and then just try to end out the vlog that way. Thank you. Everyone, I made it home and I've realized that I'm tired. And I was talking about going to Ross, like taking all the Ross after I get off work. I'm exhausted after completing a 12 hour shift as a CNA. I'm drained and it's Labor Day Sunday and tomorrow's Labor Day. Y'all so have to excuse the noise because there are cars passing by, but this breeze is so lovely. The sky is cloudy. It's like it wants to rain, but it's not raining. Then tonight I'm going to cook these burgers. Anywho, it's so beautiful outside. It's just so beautiful. Cloudy. I just love it. And... At the same time, I love to be in the house if it starts raining. <laughs> but trust me, if I had a car, if I was able to drive, if I was able to see, you know, I would go to Target. But I'm, I'm drained. And I don't think I, I want to walk anywhere. And there's no bus that takes me to Target. So I would have to walk. Actually, there is, but I don't want to wait. By the time I get there, Target will be closed, okay? Waiting on that bus. After this long 12-hour shift of being a CNA, I just love to come home and unwind. A lot of times, I jump straight in the shower. That's what I'm going to do in a little while, but I wanted to take a little time out and talk to y'all. As y'all know, my soft living, slow living style may be different than some women you see here on YouTube. But I'm gonna tell you this, tonight, after I cook, take my bath, I'm whipping out my journal, about to write in my journal. I'm about to write down everything about today. And there's one point I wanna put in my journal. Like when people talk about, oh, the drama, I don't wanna hear it. It's like, okay, you know, like don't trip off of it. You know, because sometimes when there's little drama and I say something about something, it's like nobody pays me no attention. So I'm going to start doing that. People don't like that, but it is what it is. It's just another way to let you know, hey, don't trip off of small stuff. Really, do not trip off of small stuff, okay? We have other important things to be worried about than be sitting here worried about small stuff. Seriously. And tonight, I just want to relax. I want to really lay down in my bed and watch a scary movie. Yeah, because I'm into scary stuff. So I want to watch a good scary movie and just relax. Live in that moment. Enjoying what's on t television. You, you know what I mean? Like, I'm at home. Everything else, work. All that is at work. I'm at home. I'm focusing. And another thing I want to talk to y'all about is about last night. I woke up around 2 a.m. last night. I should have turned on the camera. I heard boom, boom. It sounded like it was down in the 
in the lobby of my apartment building. Boom. Boom. Like, somebody was kicking something. Like, I know I was half asleep and awake. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But everything is fine. The lobby's fine. All my neighbors, they seem fine. So maybe I was dreaming. <laughs> but it was loud. It actually woke me up, the loud noise. And I woke up and I kept hearing the boom. Just the And it really woke me up out of my sleep. And I do not like being woke up out of my sleep. Because it woke me up and then I was saying to myself, oh my, gee, I gotta go back to sleep. Because when I sleep, I like to sleep the whole night away. I like my whole seven or eight hours of sleep. I don't want to miss no sleep. But um, whoever was making that noise, I don't know, y'all. It was, it was something that I never heard before. <laughs> and then after I heard the loud sound, I didn't hear nobody talking. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know. It's just weird. Maybe somebody was. Um, moving something, but it was really, really loud. And I know I can go on and on and on and on and on about it and keep on talking and it's not making any sense. And I just need to be quiet. Other than that, y'all, I am just exhausted. I, I want to get up, go to Target. I've been to Target. And yeah, I don't need to buy nothing. I already got soap in my bathroom. I do want to go buy this. I don't need it. I just need to work with what I already have right you know so that's what I'm gonna do let me just continue to stay in my slow living mode and appreciate the things that I already have because this is not about materialistic things and every time you click on my video I do not want to be running to Target nor the Dollar Tree to buy something okay we just go go to the store when we need stuff, okay? That's the mode that I'm in. Let's just go to the store when we actually need stuff, okay? Throughout the week or once a week or once a month, something like that, because it's time to, to cut it down and, and stop just, you know, and stop going to the store just to be going to the store. Slow living and soft living really to me doesn't have anything to do with spending money and being luxurious look baby you can be luxurious in your own way you can be luxurious just being confident in yourself you can be luxurious just being luxurious with the little things that you have in life and, but i'm gonna quit complaining and be grateful it's all about being grateful and being thankful every day where you are and I'm here, I've been here for a while, but right here, it's really temporary, although it's been a long time, but it's actually temporary because I'm going to move on to a new place. I'm going to get a new apartment one day. I'm going to live somewhere else new because I do not plan on living in Utah another year or two. Okay, I plan on leaving Utah, okay? And I don't want to go back to California. So, but when I move, that move will be, and I will share my journey with you all. I really, really can't wait. And I was thinking today, I was like, oh, geez, maybe I should just leave. You know, I should just leave. I should just go where I want to go right now but right now i'm standing still and i'm still living in this apartment i'm still here in this state but once i make up in my mind that it's time to go and i know that i don't have a plan but i see myself going somewhere where i'm going i'm gonna just go okay it's just like quitting the job oh i'm gonna quit the job you always say you go quit the job one day you go quit your job it's going to happen. You go quit. Okay? You go quit. Like my last job. I quit my job. I used to always tell my coworkers, I'm going to quit my job. And I quit. It took a long time, but I eventually quit. And just like with my moving process, my big move, moving to this new state, it's taken forever. 
But then at the same time, I'm realizing everything that's going on in the world, everything is expensive and stuff like that. Then I got to figure out things like that, how, how far my job is going to be from my new place. I, I got to figure all this stuff out, okay? So I have a different planner and stuff, you know, that I write things down to keep myself on track and keep an idea of, like, you know, how I'm going to get back and forth to work in the new state that I'm going to, okay? Because I'm not going back home to my home state, you know. So I, because I did leave my home state to come live here in Utah, okay. So I left my home state a long time ago to come li live in Utah. Now I'm tired of Utah. It's time for me to leave Utah. I'm not going back home. I'm going somewhere else. But when I get there, I'll share that journey with y'all, okay. So it's going to be a process it's not going to be something that's going to be overnight. I wish I can just snap my fingers and I'm living in paradise where I want to live, but it doesn't plan out that way. It could, but it, it, it doesn't. So right now your girl is just going through the process and I'm being patient. And I guess that's the only way that's all I can do is just be patient. So Ooh, this slow living is just taking me on a slow, 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 very slow journey. And then once I get to where I want to be and stuff, I will understand more about the slow, slow living. See, I'm breaking myself down instead of jumping so fast and be like, okay, I'm going where I want to go tomorrow. But I'm like, no. I'm going to slow live it. I'm going to take my time. Because maybe if I take my time, things uh, turn out right. And then sometimes things don't turn out right. Okay? <laughs> Anywho, but I'm just doing my slow living, taking my time. And I'm going to stay home tonight. I'm not going nowhere. And plus, what do I really need to go to the store for? Okay? Nothing, to be honest with you. I was really just planning on going to Ross just to look around, take pictures from my Instagram, buy a few things, and that's it. Vlog a little bit. Don't want to vlog too much because I don't want to get copyrighted. So, yeah. I'm at home, okay? About to get ready for bed, get some soap and water, make dinner, and that's it. And I talk to y'all later. I know I talk, talk to y'all so much. But y'all have a good night or day whenever you view this video. And I'll see y'all soon. <laughs>